Uh, uh what, what up, my dudes? Uh, this is Max from Papillon Effect. And, um, I guess it's about time for another beer plays. Roll the theme music. Take a sip. Mmm. Delicious. Alright, we're back playing Masochistia. Or Masochistia. Something like that. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's been a fucking trip. God, that scared me again. It's so disturbing. Perhaps you should talk to your brother. Uh, sure, he has a message or two he'd like to deliver. Oh, I unleashed my brother on the dad? That's cool. God, this shit. You know, actually, it just occurred to me. All of this in this entire world, everything's fucking creepy. Um, maybe that guy, maybe that, that demon, it looks like Crowley from, uh, um, uh, Good Omens, the Neil Gaiman. Kind of like Crowley, looks like an evil ver. I mean, I guess Crowley is supposed to be evil. Um, but what you might call it, like, uh, what was I saying? Like, oh, maybe my mind's just so fucked up, everything looks creepier, but it's really not. Walter, dear brother, I have... Uh, okay, I have a question for you. Silence. I have a message for Father. Do you, do you know what that means? And you ever even understand what I'm saying? Do you know what that means? Walter nods slowly. Oh, okay, he knows. Can you help me find the message? Can you help me deliver them? Walter nods. Good, where do I find the message? Walter laughs quietly. Is this a joke to you? Did something I say? Walter laughs louder. Perhaps I should shift my focus to you. Don't you see, little brother? I like the fucking pain. Okay. Why should I help you? So you don't help me then? I can't do this alone. Walter is silent. Please, you must help me. Walter chuckles maniacally. Uh, I can force you to help me. I so wish you would, little brother. Do this alone. Walter Silent. Um, please, you must help me. Like, okay. Well, I thought. Me. Okay. No, oh, god damn it. No, I don't. I don't want to. All right, whatever. I like the pain. Do I? Do I... I just run out of needles. Yeah, I ran out of my, all my fucking needles. Shit. They're magic needles. I know he likes the pain too. I just thought maybe that would do something. Well, now I got no needles. I don't even know what this shit does. Um. Maybe. I don't want to see the father just yet. Oh shit, motherfucker, dude. Wait, you gotta, you gotta cut that shit out. I'm sorry, Hamilton. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Mm. Okay. You need your father, Hamilton. Just like I need her. Even if we hate them. I want to help you, Hamilton. But I just can't. Why can't you help me? I had a message for him once. But she came to me. She hurt me. Made me promise to not deliver the message. So I hid it. Hid it? Where did you hide it? 
the old shed, of course. He never goes there. But she won't let you do it. She'll protect him. He is our flesh. Okay. Take your fucking pills. She knows. Okay. I got wallpaper kind of like this I wanted to put up. I like this design. I don't like it in this this fucking context. This shit's hella fucking scary. <clears throat> you know, from the last episode, that episode, I was like, right off the bat, I was like, oh, hey, it's good to be back. Oh, fucking welcome to beer place and shit like that. And then, like, beginning of this one, I was like, I don't even... <laughs> I don't, I don't want to do any of this. God, this is a fucking creepy ass motherfucker. I'm gonna go to the shed. I don't have the passcode for the shed. I don't, uh, I guess I'll just go there. Oh, where is it? Oh, yeah. Fuck, dude. My left ear, I hear. Oh. Okay. It's not letting me talk to her. Alright, uh, take the pills. Take the pills. Go on the ah! Take the pills. Take the fucking pills. Jesus Christ. Take, take, some, take some more then. Chill the fuck out, man. What is this I am taking? This shit's fucking intense. Um, I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> well, that gave us nothing. Our mother is holding back. We must question her further. Her mind is broke, but she just says that she doesn't even look. What? Such pessimism. Not all can carry the burden of his beatings as well as you. Let us dig. Let us see. Oh, okay. I don't get it. So she was just there for the jump scare? Take this fucking shit. Do I not, do I not talk to this version? I guess I just, I talked to the one in the house. Is she in here? No, she's not in here anymore. What? I don't even know what this mechanic is for. Do I lose? Oh, I'm out of pills. Well. Oh, you shit, motherfucker. My boy, beautiful child. Uh, mother bought the old shed. Yes, the old shed near the woods, isn't it? Yes, I remember it well. Did you know I buried a message there? Yes, you told me. I told you nothing. I can't tell you. Don't you understand? She will hurt me. She would kill me if I tried. You must understand. And if she didn't, I knew he would. There is a lock in the shed. Ah, yes. I had almost forgotten. I couldn't let you children find it. I'd have been devastated if he had somehow caused you pain. If I had somehow. Give me the combination now. Do you know the, remember the combination to the lock? Time. Yes, in time. 
Time will tell. I always does. Time. Yes. Time will tell. Time will tell. Yes, time will tell. Okay. I'm guessing it's the, the clock. Jesus. Oh, that fucking... Oh, that's so... Oh, it hurts my ear. Ooh, fucker. I don't get what the pills are for. Is that to, like, reduce the jump scare? Okay, the clock's all fucked up. Am I manipulating it? Time will tell. I don't know, I don't, want, I don't really want to look it up. It keeps going back to, uh... 12.05? Oh, that's a 12 o'clock. Um... Is there another clock around? Maybe one that's like broken somewhere? What? Go upstairs. I don't really want to go under the door. You know how many of them silent? Um, these must help me. Okay, whatever. Um, mm, time will tell. It's like twelve. Oh, maybe it's maybe it's showing a combination. That seems a little too smart for like. you mean time will tell yeah it went off right there so maybe maybe it's pointing to because it's at 12 it's always at 12 so what was that one four five six seven four uh Right. Well, okay. So it's it's all, the top one's always at twelve. So the first two numbers is twelve. <laughs> that narrows it down. I could just guess the rest of them and it'd be fine. I mean, it goes it goes on a, it goes on a, a a clock grid, right? So or what, not not a clock. Oh, Jesus, lady. She's gonna fucking jump scare me again. I know it. Please don't. Please fucking don't. Okay. All right. So L twelve O. It goes in sequences of five, right? Twelve or five? No. Or maybe twelve. Five ten. Twelve ten. I hope I'm right. Uh, Twelve fifteen. Wait. The long hand. The long hand was pointing up, so the, the short hand is the the one that tells the hour. So maybe I don't really want to guess this. Twelve. Hold on. Yeah, let, let me just let me just keep going with what I was doing for a sec. So twenty. So twenty 
five. I feel like when I get it, time will tell. How does one measure time? Yeah, the fucking clock, but the clock was all over the goddamn place. It didn't, it didn't give me the fucking... Hold on, one second. I'm looking it up. I don't want to walk back there. Oh, there's multiple endings. What is a um a lock combination? <laughs> Theme community guy. Um, Some guy says he's having massive amount of fun. I, I, uh, I don't, uh, what? Looks like there's a bunch of other shit going on. I don't even think I'm... Okay, view the page. Yes. Alright, so I think I'm in Act 3. Oh, okay, because when it was spinning around, it was giving... Okay, so... Never mind. I was supposed to... Fucking... Ignore... Hey, there it goes. Now we're in the cellar. What is this? A shovel? The message. It's jagged edges almost scream for flesh. Oh. Anything else in here? Do I care? You got, you've got a message for your father. Mm. Now, to deliver the message, I have to go back to the mansion. Yes, motherfuckers. I grow weary, boy. Father, I have a message for you. A message? From whom? From God. You think he speaks to you? I hear his voice every day. I see. And what does this message say? I must deliver it in person. Then deliver it. forgive you Hamilton neither will she I have a feeling that there might there must be something else like there because there's supposed to be I, I guess multiple endings I can force you I so wish you would little brother can I give him the message uh, Okay. Hmm. Unless this isn't like this is just like the first murder. I won't forgive you, Hamilton. Neither will she. I got a weary boy. I have a message for you. A message from whom? From me. You waste my time, boy. I got a weary boy. Father, I have a message for you. A message from whom? From God. You think he speaks through you? I hear his voice every day. I see. And what does this message say? I must deliver it in person. Then deliver it.
Omniscient? A beautiful word, isn't it? Do you understand what it means, boy? I do understand. I do not. Tell me. It means all-knowing. Like God. To understand all things would be a beautiful thing, would it not? I don't know. Maybe. <clears throat> Where's the enjoyment in that? To know why God took my son away from me. To know what possible pleasure he could have gained. Or why he cursed me with this putrid stain that is my family. What have I done to deserve this? <clears throat> he hates you. Yes, I know. If this is your attempt to abuse me, it has failed. You think I do not know? He has scorns. He, he scorns me? Father, I have a message for you. <laughs> then speak it and be gone. It's hard to formulate into words what I feel. I have dreamt of this moment standing here to tell you. I simply hate you. There is no other way to say it. I know that this life has been cruel to you and I. But who are we to question our fate? I no longer have space in my heart for you. Your time left on this earth is waning. The angel is at the door and he has much to say. You're waned in the balance and art found wanting. God damn your soul. I love you, Father. <clears throat> well, that happened, and I don't got any pills to take. Is he gonna jump scare me? That's gonna jump scare me. Cleggy. I took the I took the headphones off. Oh I gotta cut them up. Do I gotta cut them up? Oh, oh I see. Scratch. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Scratch out the soul. Alright, headphones are back on. <coughs> In its place, bury your pain. Drip, drip, drip. Drain the blood. Pour in your hatred in its place. Dig, dig, dig. Dig the marrow from the bones. Inject your poisonous fears. <clears throat> this is the path, Hamilton. We will walk it together. You and I. there are oh look at that oh cool i got well actually i don't know what the pain pills or the, the medicine and the fucking give me back the knife attic key it's metal aged door and i'm good cold to the touch oh okay he just had that oh, hold on a second trolls fire one mouse zero pills t rescue r what, what the rescue Go back. Rescue? I don't understand. I don't know what, uh. Um, whatever. I don't care. I never explained what those did. What is this? So. Father's room? Oh, it's Grace. Jesus. Don't hang yourself, Grace. What is this place? 
You feel a gray smile. You wouldn't smile if you knew what I had done. <coughs> you feel Gray's move deeper into your mind. Why am I this way? What if I told you I like this? Jesus. Why am I this way? A calm thought passes through your mind. You feel almost good. Why do you even try to help me? You feel Gray smile, so warm, so perfect. I am, am I not a lost cause? A single word pierces your brain. Fate. Huh. Yeah. Alright. Holy shit, what the fuck was that? I took a sip of beer and I did This is fucking words popped up and I didn't see what it said. Can I change my fate? Fate. Grace holds out her hand. A gift. Fate. Dude. You examined it closely, so cold, so impersonal. Okay. Grace is silent, pensive. Um. I think that those flashing words meant something. I'm pr pretty sure I'm gonna get the bad ending because I'm just going along, going with the flow. I'm <clears throat> just killing motherfuckers like it ain't no business. Hamilton, what happens now? You must tell the angel. What have I done? The time for second guessing ourselves is over. Yeah, we pretty much killed the dude. I don't know what else you want us to do. Only we are accountable for our actions. <clears throat> what is done is done. Um. What am I to do? Where am I supposed to go? Now you need our help? Now you ask us questions? These orders came from this angel. You must talk to him. We cannot help you here. I suppose not. Let's see what the brother's on about. Got me hooked on the brothers. Hmm. He's dead, Walter. I've saved you. Walter is silent, cold. Do you have nothing to say? Walter growls behind the mask. Yeah, because he said he liked the pain. I'll leave you then. You don't scare me anymore, brother. Then take off this mask. How quickly you turn to violence. No, this is not for them. <laughs> I don't know, it said brother. <clears throat> like, that was the beginning act. And it's like, oh. I'm just gonna go shoot him. There's some. Well. I don't know, the mom's probably right here, isn't she? I'm trying to get a little bit used to this. I don't want to walk through like two fucking hallways. Uh, I'll just keep going. So we gotta go talk to that that demon. <clears throat> He's in the woods, and then what? What did it say? I can't see it fast enough. Oh, what about this? The sound of rain? Yeah, it'll let me go this way now. What is this? Head east? Or head north? Ooh, what's this? A warehouse? Check out the warehouse. <sighs> A dark presence emits. Ah, oh, jeez. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be here yet.
Uh, it doesn't let me go in. church churches scare me I don't uh, I don't feel comfortable in a lot of them anything to do in here. I guess I'll go back to the spot that I last saw that dude. <clears throat> that demon. Oh, yeah. Roll the theme music. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this game. It's like I kind of wanted to finish it all in one playthrough. I mean, I, you know, I got I got plenty enough beers. Just get a little later. <clears throat> and by later, I mean four in the morning. Which I don't know. It's not like I got anything to do. That kid's still here. <clears throat> nope, apparently not. Cemetery. Oh, I didn't go to the cemetery last time. Ooh, look at that. Butcher's knife. The blade feels balanced in the hand. A practice thrust slices the air before you. I'm getting several weapons. None of it I seem to be able to use. That's creepy. <coughs> oh, hey, it's that kid. Hello there. I've seen you before. You've been running through these woods, talking to yourself. I'm not talking to myself, there are voices. <laughs> I understand. Sometimes I get lonely too. You are lonely, aren't you? Uh... Sometimes, yes. I'm sorry. If you'd like, I can be your friend. I know I could use one. I could use a friend right now. I don't know, I don't think the angel would approve. Yeah, okay. Good, me too. My name is William. But my mom calls me Billy. Your mother must really love you. Thanks, Billy. I remember that. She does. I love her, too. I don't feel like talking anymore. I don't like talking about family. It's okay. I understand. I should be running along. Perhaps we could talk more later. Okay, he just disappears. I was like... I was going to try one of the weapons on him, but I didn't really want to. 
want to. It's Albert Hamilton. You've returned. <clears throat> the angel said you'd return. He said you'd deliver the message to your father. I killed the old bastard. The message was delivered. Yes, the angels told me. He should be happy. Yet, yeah, you seem off. Are you upset about what you've done? Did Bobby at least? I did what had to be done. It had to be done, Hamilton. He was a good man but he deserved what he got. I wouldn't call him good. He deserved worse. I'd call him good man. Perhaps not to you. He has suffered in his own way. But yes, he deserved it. Just know, you've done well, Hamilton. Alright. Jesus! God, this... And the, the fucking... The, cro the, the cross in his head's gotten longer. Hello again. I've been thinking about what you said about fate. Oh, yeah. Grace nods. <sighs> I'm going to change my fate. Grace smiles. Feelings of warmth rush over your mind. Yeah, I don't want to do this, man. Sweet child. I see that you returned them to me. Are you Michael? Actually, yeah, you know, I never thought to ask. Are you Michael? I am. Everything that I am. But the weight of my power is grow. For I am the messenger. <clears throat> I have delivered your message to my father. I murdered in cold blood. Now I'm done with you. Innocent child. Do you not see your own light? I am the mouth of God. But you are his hand. You've purged the world of a dark blot. We are pleased. I don't think I can do that again. Think or act. These things do not matter. For the decision is not yours to make. You are that which has predestined to be the hand of God. Hmm. You might not realize this, but this dude is like... <clears throat> massive on my TV right now. He takes up almost the full fucking screen. Like, his body is bigger than the normal size of a, a fucking... Uh, like, a normal monitor. So, it looks, like, way fucking creepier for me. Um, for, you, for you are that which was predestined to be the hand of God. Yes, this is my inescapable fate. No, the choice is mine to make. Oh. No. Oh. Yes, it is my inescapable fate. You begin to understand. See, we act for the light. We are the flame in the darkened world. We, st we still the, we still the hemorrhage. We coagulate the blood. We accept. We accept what? We accept ourselves. It is the key. When you can't accept, then you will embrace our addiction. Nothing ever accepts me. Have you not felt our warm embrace? Have you not heard? The voices of doubt in your heart are silent before me. <sighs> we have showered you in our gifts and in our affection. Don't you see? Our love is purity. 
To accept yourself, you must understand yourself. Understand your blood. To understand your blood, you must know your heritage. I killed my heritage. I don't understand. Child, your brother, he is of your blood. To embrace him is to embrace your salvation. You must embrace him. You're asking me to kill my brother? Child, you ask too many questions. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, I did not ask you to kill your brother. Such a thing is not possible. Rather, I ask you to embrace him. I got a gun right here, Mr. Man. How quickly you turn to violence. No, this is not for them. What butcher's knife? Oh, Hamilton. Such violence instincts. Okay. Meat cleaver. You wish to strike? We become excited. But sadly, not this time. Or right, fuck you, dude. God damn it. You feel great smiling. Yes, you remain silent. Yeah, I guess we... No, we can not change our ways. At least that's what I say out loud. As I drink a beer. Because I... I'm a fucking addict. My show's about fucking drinking beer and playing video games instead of doing important shit. You've done well, Hamilton. You should be proud. Whatever. I don't like you guys. Mm. So quick to obey. The angel speaks, we obey. We obey because we're destined to. You speak now, yet you're silent in the shrine. We speak, but the angel is loud. I don't have time for this. So I must find my brother. I don't have... Um, yes, Hamilton, we must not be late to our destiny. Whatever. <coughs> I don't like where this is going. I mean, I don't necessarily... I, do I care? The brother wants to die. Or he likes the pain, is what he said. You know, so, like, no biggie. You know, he's all about that. Oh, he's cool with it, I think. Uh... Back to the shed. Alright, there's a shed. What? Oh, we found a knife. Why do we have to go find a knife in the shed? I had a cleaver. I mean, I guess it's not a immediate... Kind of it, you know. It's not. It's not a forward attacking weapon. <laughs> Did it fucking matter? The dad was like seventy. I don't even know how his spooge made me, or Hamilton, or Albert, or whatever the fuck the kid's name is. Actually, how how old do you have to be till your sperm stops working? Is that even a thing? I think it's just. I think eggs dry out, not, not dudes' ball sacks. They do get wrinklier, but I'm just saying. Can I shoot that? No. It's a gamer in me. I wanted to break that. <clears throat> now I must kill my brother, who's insane. Come, brother, let us talk. Walter remains stoic and silent. Let us drop the serade. I know you speak. Yeah, he talked to me earlier. Why are you angry with me? I've saved you. Why don't you be fool? Why? Don't be foolish, brother. You of all people should understand my needs. We need the pain, Hamilton. Just as we need the air. And now you... You've taken it from me. You've raped... Raped away? I don't know if that's the correct sentence. You, you've raped away the one thing I care about in this world. The father abused and tortured you. Yes, he did. And it pleased me. Who are you to be judge and jury? Shut the fuck up, I have questions for you. I don't know. Do I have questions for him? I thought I just came here to kill him. Look, I'm sorry, I guess. As you should be. Yes, that's it. Grovel before me, Hamilton. Beg for me. Take a step towards Walter. Walter chuckles, muffled within the mask. Fine. You have questions. I have answers. 
for a price. What price would that be? Uh, I'm so glad you've asked. I simply want you to hurt me. Beat me till the blood covers my whole body. Till I'm unconscious and gurgling on the floor. And when I scream and beg for you to stop, then I want you to hit me even harder. Oh my god. What am I playing? This is so fucking weird. Or you could release me from my bonds. No one knows how to hurt me quite as good as I do. <coughs> so what will it be, little brother? Will you hurt me or will you release me? I want to tie your arms, but I will remove your mask. Then he'll bite you. No deal, I don't bargain with twisted nails like you. Yes, I'll hurt you. I will bleed you till you're dry. Dude, I don't... I don't want to do any of this shit. This is really like... This seems like someone's weird fucked up fantasy. You know what I mean? Like, this seems like... This is like torture porn. Um... Alright, I guess I'll hurt him because I don't want to die myself. Walter quivers in excitement. Oh my god, he's getting off on it. Yes, you're like father. Dare I say it, perhaps better. You're one disturbed boy, Hamilton. And as tempted as I am to accept, I was just curious what you'd really be willing to do. Oh, okay. And I'm impressed. Remove my mask, then I will tell you all the secrets your heart desires. He's gonna bite you. He's gonna. But first of all, he's gonna jump scare me, and I don't want that shit to happen. Really. No, I don't fucking trust you. Here. Oh, Hamilton. Such violence instincts. Okay. What about the meat cleaver. Here you go. But sadly, not this time. Can I kill him? Oh, okay. I got. I gotta take it off. Let you be able to stay away longer. Uh, I've clearly overestimated you. I'm not ready for your deal. I've got a new offer. The time has passed, little brother. Remove the mask. I will answer your questions. All right. Well, I got no options now. Gross. Not as gross as I thought it would be. Yeah, I fucking knew it. Not as bad. Not as bad. Like seriously, like the first one was like the worst. I wasn't expecting it. You were foolish to remove the mask. Walter will pay for that. Um, we will find him. And then what will you do, Hamilton? Will you kill Walter too? Is my destiny. He attacked me first, I guess? I don't know. He had you, Hamilton. If he wanted you dead, we would not be here. Let us find him and speak. Okay, do I need... What a... Okay, so the the needles immediately get rid of all of that, I guess. Is the body just still in here still? <clears throat> yeah, it looks like it. Um, but the medication does it too, but I think it takes more. Look at all the Bibles they have. Mm -hmm. Oh man, could you imagine? Like, say, like, I don't know, for some reason, you had to sleep in this house. You know what I mean? Like, it was like raining and storming outside. This is like the only place in the middle of the woods or some dumb shit like that. It's like you had to. He just came in and like all this shit looked like this. It was all fucked up. The clock don't work properly. Fucking paintings. Old fainting sofas. Blood on the wall, shit like that. Weird statues. It's just... God. <clears throat> I don't know, man. I don't know what I'd do. 
I mean, like... I think I would sleep as close to the front door as I could. That makes sense to me. Or it makes the most sense, at least. Oh, there's the mom. Well, Hamilton, are you pleased with yourself? You brought our family to ruin. Why is God so cruel to us? First, my eldest son. What was his name? How dare you? Don't you ever ask me of him again? You're not worthy to say his name. I knew you were worthless trash the moment I first laid eyes on you. She wanted to take you, give you to your father. I should have let them kill you. Let them kill you when I had the chance? I should have never saved you from them. Shut your cunt mouth. Mother, I'm sorry for everything I've ever done. How can I forgive you for all these things? I don't know, I mean... Whatever, we're all crazy, right? My son's death. My husband's death. And now you drive the last child I have away from me? <coughs> Mother, I am still your son. Oh, he killed the... F he killed the first? Huh. You were my son. But we're done now, you and I. This is the end of your our road. You've made your choices. I hope you can live with them. I must find Walter and support him. I speak to him. Find him so you can murder him too? What do I care anymore? I'm sure Walter would enjoy that. Poor Walter. He is the last of his cursed seed. I know where he would seek to find solace from your insanity. Follow the water, Hamilton. Follow the water till the heavens themselves shed tears. Those tears are for you, Hamilton. Perhaps Walter can finally find his peace and solace in God's arms. Your mother speaks in riddles. Perhaps we follow the rain to the place of solace. I'm guessing we're going to the church that we were at before. Um, I really gotta pee and take a shit. So I'm gonna end this here. My beer's got like a swig left. So it's about the same amount of time. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good one.